we're with Colonel Ann Wright, who's flown in all the way from Hawaii to the relatively cooler temperatures of Washington. And what does this uh, rally mean to you right now in this state that we're in? Well, Joe, as you mentioned, I'm a retired Army colonel. I'm almost also a former U.S. diplomat that almost 20 years ago to the, to the month, I resigned in opposition to another war, and that was the U.S. war on Iraq. So this one of, of a war uh, in Ukraine, no matter what the rationale is for these wars that our governments, whether it's the Russian government, the U.S. government, give to the world for needing to have a war, we know what it results in. It results in millions of people either being killed, being injured, their homes destroyed, the economy destroyed somewhere, and it's just plain wrong. So I'm here to say yet yeah, one more time, no to these wars and talk, dialogue, negotiate, and stop the killing. And what do you think is going to happen in Ukraine? Do you have any hope for a negotiated settlement? Well, or yeah. they can continue to escalate it? No, I think there is some hope. I mean, the the global south as as a unit has told during the United Nations that that this these wars need to end. Uh, we now have China that says on the 24th of February they're going to announce their attempt at, at de-escalation, trying to get this going. President Lula of, of Brazil has already told President Biden, hell no, I won't, I won't participate in more weapons, but I will uh, help, help in sponsoring negotiations and talks. So there are more people stepping in besides the Turks have been trying, even the Israelis have tried. There was a Saudi Arabian plan back in oh, God. March. <laughs> yeah, and the that, that was forgotten. The, that, but, but Biden's not interested in peace talks. As we saw, they've stopped. Uh, the Israeli Prime Minister revealed a couple of weeks that the Americans stopped him from working yeah. on a peace plan. We know about Boris Johnson showing up in Kiev. It looks like they want to keep this war going as long as possible to weaken, and they still have fantasies of toppling Putin on that. Well, indeed, and that's why we are having this rally uh, today, even though there are lots of groups that are in it that I don't agree with on much of anything, but I agree with them on this, and I'll stand here on this platform to say no to these wars, and it's our job as U.S. citizens to get our Congress and the President to stop this shit. I'll let one last question. Uh, in the lead-up to the invasion of Iraq in 2003, the way the television in particular, but the newspapers, primed this country the population for war was something I'd never seen before. It was chilling, but it seems to be even even worse this time. What do you think about well, this? And, and it was our the U.S. government, George Bush, and all those uh, war criminals saying it's weapons of mass destruction. That's why we've got got to go in and destroy. And yet there were voices out there saying there are no weapons of mass destruction left. We know that, and yet the propaganda was so strong that. that well, even though we had the largest ex uh, the largest protest in the history of the world, all over the world, stupid ass George Bush went ahead and started that war, and you have, you know, millions of you uh, uh, Iraqis that had to flee as refugees, people that were, uh, you know, their homes destroyed. Uh, it was horrible, and finally it ended. Well, uh, this time around, the propaganda is easier because they they got Russia to. To invade. So they could easily point that this is the aggressor, there was no provocation, all of a sudden we know nothing about the Queen, the Nazis, the rejected uh, treaty proposals, the fact they never implemented Minsk on purpose. All that's not been reported, it's just a black and white aggression. Yeah, for the American public it is, but that's why we have to be very careful about the provocations that the U.S. is doing toward China over Taiwan. And trying to prevent the next war is a critical part of trying to end this part of this war right now. Very good, and thank you so much. Thank you.